Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Revit Guy, um, a channel that discusses everything Revit, especially construction documentation. Well, that's the series we're on now. I started this um, about 10 months ago. No, no, 10 months ago, like over a year ago, or thereabouts. And I'd have been away for a couple of, I've been away for a minute, <laughs> for, a, for a long minute. So anyway, I'm just continuing. I want to discuss about site analysis, site plan, and site sections. So I'm trying to make this video maybe 10 minutes or thereabouts. So I was away for a couple of reasons. First of all, I went to write my professional exam, then which I passed. So in the country where I'm from, that's Nigeria, I'm very sad architect. Then also, um, we had those recommendations we did in our office, and that took some of my time. Then I was just away for a while, and then Christmas, before you know it, I started gaming over the holidays. Then I discovered one game. Well, it's a whole long story, but I really enjoyed that game. I think that took my time. Then I got some some projects I was working on that was quite... Then I was exhausted or something like that. Some some guys reached out and I love that. I appreciate that. Anyway, I'm back now and yeah. so let's just say that was season one. So this is season two. Something like that, right? Eh? It's not easy. We're doing so many things. So um so I've modeled the site. Um the site is just a calm site. Um, so, what we want to do is delve into site plan. So, I have some shrubs here and some trees. This is the lawn. This area indicated as this light blue. Then, this is like a walkway and this is like a paved area. That's maybe fair face concrete or something of that nature. So, obviously, you come in with your car, you park here. And you can also park here in the building if you remember the design that we started with same design and everything. Let me show you the model. This is what the model looks like. So the model it's like this. I've not applied <coughs> sorry, excuse me. I've not applied materials and stuff. But I'll that will be a separate class. I think after I'm done with the side section, that we'll just show how we apply materials and all this kind of stuff. So let's 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 dig in. So the first thing you want to do is obviously to put your site plan. So I'm sorry, I should put your site plan to put your north arm. So this is my north arm. No, I don't think I like this. I should have another one. Yeah. Where's my north arm? Yeah. Good. So when you do that, um, so I have drawn this guy, a field region on this guy, diagonal down, and all those things. So let's label it. So I'll call this main building. Look, cap locks. Main building. I don't know why architects like to use cap locks, yeah. But that's what we found ourselves doing. So, yeah, let's black duplicate. I don't want it to be opaque, I want it to be transparent. Hmm. Let's see what time looks like. It's a distant event, Chris. Okay. I was scared. So this is what it looks like. So let's 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 do this. Oh we can keep it readable. Depends. Huh? This this is nice. So, maybe I don't think I like it both. So, you know. Let's call it. So, maybe then. So, the next thing I would do would be to add my spot heights. So, I will pick the lines. And I'll tell you why I pick the lines because the lines are the ones that are sort of definite. So, I'll tell you why. See, it's consistent 750. Oh, let me remove the leader. So, 750, this is fine. So, you see why I don't like all this ground? It just gives you a lot. Obviously, it varies, but this is 
most of the time, especially if it was drawn straight, this is more consistent. So let me try and get like 650 or something, or 675. Then, but again, let's put an image and get the um, 900. Oops. Nine nine six seventy five. I just want to sort of give you an idea of six eighty is much. Mm -hmm. And six hundred, four hundred, two twenty, one sixty, zero. What is zero? I've learned now over time to make top of curb zero. So this should have been my zero. But anyway, yeah, I think we have some considerable heights. So yeah, then after I pick some random spot heights, I'm gonna have to edit this guy and make them bigger. So after I do that, I want to put like slope arrows to indicate my slope. Um, yeah. So this is this is fine. So this one slopes to the area, slopes away from the house. Um, this is quite steep. I would amend this. Let's pick this. Pick this. So no slip here. So in fact. So, obviously, we have slopes here. So, I'll have to amend these graphics, but that will be away from camera. This is too long. Oops. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing that is that this tile, I'm not supposed to slip it actually, but sometimes I just. And this slopes are too much. It should have been a minimum of two. So this area I'm having three now after I amend it, but I want to just gradually just tile it away from the house just to keep the house safe. Cause I practice in Nigeria and Nigeria is tropics and Lagos by extension. So we have a lot of um flooding issues. So you want to just not add to it. So that's why I sort of slope slope everything away. Then also I have like a linear drain here. Yeah? I'm sure what this looks like. Yeah. That's just a piece. So it is a drain that it comes with um, its own sort of U channel, and you can place it in between like interlocking tiles. So you should read about it. So this I got from BIM Object. I think it is owned by a company called Zone. So maybe. We can check that out, but the one that I, I the first one, like this kind of um design I, I first saw and I loved was from Aqua Drain. I think that is a, a UK company. So they do that. So I just have it like it's like a linear drain. So I have it here so that whatever I run off, it picks it off. Like this picks this one off, obviously, then this well, that's fine. So this road is already slope, so you always go to like public storm drain or public mains then for the um the lawn area that is this area where i have the shrubs and the trees and i mean normally you will not do it but we'll do a french drain i just want to use that to sort of explain that you know so after doing all that um, so i'm not going to go into dimensioning but you would want to dimension Actually, from the grid line, but let's use that for now. So, this edge, you know. So, let's just go into dimension. I think when we do that, we can close this. We can close this episode. So, let's make this site. Um, so, let's see five. Let's see what five looks like. Okay, five looks decent. Okay, so same thing. We'll do this for this corner. 
Yeah. So <clears throat> another thing is that how I know what I'm picking when I want to pick corners is that if I pick, if I go here, if you hover to this place around there, you will see what you are clicking on. So when you tap it, for instance, when you go here, you see it's online, and that's what I want to pick. And for this area, it should be on property point or something like that. So property reference. So you know you've picked that edge. So I'll do this for this corner. Yeah, I keep having that black stuff just pop up on my screen. Yeah, I'm using my wife's laptop, by the way. So my laptop is... That was one part of one. That was like the major reason itself. I was so used to working with my office laptop. And so, so you pick those edges. So you pick these corners as well. Yeah, sort of get the corner measurements. Then I was playing a game, and really, if you if you want to, like, if you're a gamer, and you want to really enjoy. I'm sure the game has over has been overflowed, but surely I can't tell you enough about that game. Or I, mean, I know why people talk about it. Red Dead Redemption. That game took my December, January, February, March. I think, like, the game is mad. Okay, so let's see. If, we, if this is perpendicular, ah, it is. So, we have this. Let's pick up this corner. And this point. And let's pick up this corner. And this point. So, we'll leave it here. <laughs> So this way they can, you know, plot out the site and do everything. So we can also do this. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, 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 let's do this. Do this. Pick it to this corner. And we'll pick it to this corner. So we'll sort of establish where we are going. You know? Let's move this a little bit. Okay, so let's see if this is... Okay. Okay. So let's do this. Uh -huh. Come on. Let's do vertical. Uh, what does that say? So, we can do this. So for this, I will just do a lot of examples of this will be you, and I would suffix percent. So the runoff will go at this percent, and for the spot height, select all the visible in view, two plus. I hope I'm an upper person. Yeah, this is fine. So, and um. This is most of what you will see in a site plan, although there'll be more information. Trust me, when we're done with this, when we're done with this um, series, I think it should be like three or four classes because I enjoy doing site plans. And, um, so what we'll call this road? Mm, let's call it... 
Um, I don't know. Alvary Street. This is the street I grew up in when I was. This street I grew up in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in my hometown. So we'll call it Cabaret Street. So what I do, just over that be one, two, three. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. Three. One, two, 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 three. So I did this to sort of give it, you know, like a bold. So it fills up the page, actually. So let me move this guy out. So, cover straight. So, in the next class, nope, I didn't move it well. Yeah, okay, come here. I want to move everything. Yeah. So, in the next class, we will continue. So, we will start to go into the details of this guy. So, let me show you. For instance, now we'll check what this looks like. So, you see the build up for Kronos. You see the build up for details build up so you see it and all those stuff again old label some of the materials here just now show small so this is basically so you want to show the outline of your space let's remove this so you want to show the outline of your space you want to show the setting out points like from the corners to your corners diagonally horizontally and every way possible obviously you want to have as many dimensions as possible then you also want to you know give your your uh, surface different patterns so that graphics looks impressive so i'll see you next week my daughter is already calling me so have a nice week ahead and I'll see you on the next one.